What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. This is episode six of Project Crew. I hope everyone enjoyed the last video. It may have been a little boring, so I apologize. I just wanna keep posting content for you guys and show you the process and what we've been doing. So it is the next day since I posted that video and we're starting to work on finishing the cab area of the Jeep like I was talking about previously. So I'll show you what you have already seen if you watched the last video. So. This is where we're at, the rear tub is on. We're gonna take this off, roll the axle out, and then we're gonna start basically fitting the metal and boxing this all, all oh my God, boxing this all off and sealing it up. So putting our, our angle iron here, and then kind of bringing these two together, putting some bracing on this so it's not so flimsy when we're driving and things like that. And then we're also gonna fill these corners. So we're gonna bring these down to match this line. Little update for you guys. Uh, we've been working on the closeout panel or the panel for where the tailgate was and also where the closeout piece is in the inside of the cab area. So I'll show you what that looks like. That right there. So this is pretty much what would you say complete to, to an extent? Yeah, I mean, it's pretty much dialed in right now. Um, all we're doing is just kind of um, Reinforcing this, making sure everything's nice and tight. We're in the process of filling some holes since none of these holes back here uh, will be reused. And then we're going to start forming our patch panels to close off the floor, which we'll be doing down here. And then I think what we're going to do is try to actually hand fabricate our short extensions that are going to bring the, uh, the back panel down more in line with the bottom of his rocker. So that, that rocker length will continue all the way around here. Yeah. And I think it'll just drop down about two and a half inches. So this will all be raised up and then this will have that drop down around here. Yeah, just enough to level it all out and make it look really clean. But I can see my dad was already filling these, right? Yeah. So yeah. we bought these uh you bought these plugs. A lot of guys will old school they'll drill them out with a hole saw or whatever, then you gotta, you know, patch them and then you gotta fill the hole that your pilot bit made. But you can order these online. And then you can either drill the hole out to the size of this and then spot weld around it, or you can put it behind the hole side. and fill it. Just do a series of those, like two more there, and then come back and fill them all in. Let me get some uh, water. I don't know why it's not. Yeah, we're just kind of smoothing down all the welds. As you can see on this side, we never knew this, but there's been body work. You can see all the old Bondo. So um, we had no idea until we started grinding into it and it, there's actually a lot on there. But next step is gonna be getting and fabricating the panels to extend this. We were gonna use these corners off the red tub, but just a little too much work and it's a little finicky and we don't want to mess these up so it has to be perfect so we're just going to use these pieces of flat steel and we're going to shape them to fit that. It's a pretty 
pretty straight cut and clean, which is nice. Super finicky. Yeah. You guys saw us tacking that piece into place. This is our really our first attempt at fabricating a body piece that's scratch. Yeah, from scratch. So that's the corner that we wanted to to get done, but I don't think it looks that bad. I mean, it really none of this is going to be seen, so I'm not really concerned about it. We're more concerned about matching the bend here and then it also being level here. So. Having that there will just make it look a lot of, oh my god, make it look a little better in terms of following the body lines and stuff like that. So this is going to get trimmed here. We're going to build the floor and then a piece is going to fill this and then repeat that same process on the other side and the tub for the cab area will be finished. This is our template to fill in the side of the cab. So uh, the driver's side is what we used to make the template. And we just threw it on the other side to see how it fit. And it fits pretty well. It's a little big, so we're just gonna duplicate the same thing for both sides and just grind it down to fit. So that'll just be the easiest thing for us to do. Shark fin. Mm -hmm. I think if we uh, trim the high spot there, I think if we trim that a little bit. Yeah, because I don't think, allow it. To... And I think what we need to do is not trim this, trim this. You know, it'd be easier. Yeah, right here. Right. Right there. Good. First is grind that down a little bit. All right. So we've got both the pieces, the shark fins, uh, fitted intact on both sides. So this side's done. We just have to trim this bottom piece off to level it, level it all out, and then this side is done as well. Or tacked in and fitted so 
Um, we still have to cut that to level it out, but we are, I'd say about 80% of the way there. We just have this piece and that piece to work on and we'll be done with the cab or done closing it out at least. Here is the template for the passenger side floorboard in that corner over there. So cut that out, get it tacked in place, do the other side, get tacked in place and cab will pretty much be finished. More on that side, the door piece. Get a little closer too, it's kind of far away. That piece, just cooling it off right now, but that's the floor. So I like this actually because it's going to give me room for my EDC or like my go bag. It's going to sit right in there. Yeah. So it's going to be plenty of room for stuff like that. Um, and this is all going to get cleaned up and, and some seam sealer filled in there to fill up any gaps. It's going to look good. We have some sound deadener going in. Yeah, it's, you know. it's going to look finished. It's not going to look all jagged edges and stuff like that. So we're going to duplicate that on this side and then we're going to call it a night. You want me to hit that? Yeah, just try to, try to get the, the metal in the, I got to keep the original body. Because it's that, yeah, no. that uh, right. foam comes up. Yeah. All righty, guys. So that about sums up this video. Um, the cab's pretty much finished. I think there's two small pieces that we have left to weld but I'm gonna call it done. Um, I mean, they're like two inch pieces, but here is the floor here, floor here. I'm super excited. This was a pivotal point in this build. So it's really, now that we're done with this, it's the two more pieces that I talked about, and then it's starting to fit the bed on. So. I have a bunch of parts coming this week, which I kind of hinted at on my Instagram, but we're gonna be throwing those on once we get closer to the end of the build. But thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more, then hit that subscribe button.